Hi, I'm Mike from MaxSales.com, tech enthusiast and Mac evangelist since 1999. I started using Macs personally and professionally during the Steve Jobs renaissance of the late 90s, and I never looked back. Welcome to part two of our series discussing three concepts that Apple could be taking the new modular Mac Pro. In part one, I detailed some issues with the current Mac Pro and explored the first modular concept of what a Mac Pro could be. Now let's dive into another possibility. Another direction Apple could be going is more like the Mac Pro Silver Towers, where an each internal device is upgradable. Now this is definitely a popular idea in the Mac community, as that's essentially what the pros wanted in the last Mac Pro update, the Mac Pro Tower with the new tech. However, I think the possibility of Apple simply building a new tower is low, and for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, Apple's nearly one year production timeline for the new Mac Pro. With all of Apple's resources, I simply don't think it would take the better part of a year to remake a Mac Pro tower. But you never know. Perhaps in a euphoric state of listening to what its pro customers actually have to say, Apple actually made what the pro customers wanted. Reason number two, even though the Mac Pro tower was hugely upgradable, many people didn't upgrade anything, as there's still like a fear factor involved when upgrading the machine, especially a machine that costs multiple thousands of dollars. I actually think Apple is smart and realizes it just may need to build a machine that makes it highly approachable and extremely easy to swap parts. Something that's a bit more reimagined than going back to the Mac Pro Tower again. And for concept number three, Apple could build a hybrid of the first two concepts I've discussed by creating a hybrid modular box version of the Mac Pro. Now this is actually a pretty interesting possibility that merges the component multi-box external concept with the tower box concept, essentially creating different modular boxes that fit into a base box, like so. Now, for this conceptual idea, I was actually a little inspired by the Mac Pro Silver Tower. You see, in the Mac Pro Silver Tower, the processor and memory tray is essentially a module. You can pull it out from one Mac Pro and place it into another Mac Pro to change the capabilities of the machine. And the tray uses a connector on the motherboard which essentially makes the processor slash memory tray a large daughter card, or module, if you will. The downside is, and what we've found from buying used Silver Tower Mac Pros, is that we've been surprised to find many people saying that their Mac Pro Towers were slow, only to find that they never upgraded them. We're talking stock memory, stock drive, stock, stock everything. So there's definitely an issue that the old Mac Pro Tower wasn't communicating to the user that it's easily upgradable. So Apple may design a Mac Pro that mitigates that issue. So what I'm thinking is this hybrid Mac Pro mod box could be a shell with modular boxes that promote in some fashion being removed and replaced in a simple and approachable manner. So with this hybrid shell mod box, you would buy a shell along with the processor and memory box if you're choosing. Heck, the box itself, the hybrid mod box itself, could be a module with entry units containing less modules and upgraded boxes containing more. So like an entry level container box would feature like one storage container, one video card, and one processor box. With other boxes or upgrades allowing for more processor memory boxes, multiple video card boxes, multiple storage boxes, and multiple I.O. containers. So the thought being on this is that the modular and swappable boxes would heavily promote upgrading in a highly approachable way. Now you tower guys might be saying, hey, that's inefficient. You could accomplish the same thing just by building a tower and upgrading the parts, and you'd be right. But remember, there's an approachability issue with the Mac Pro Tower, in that it can seem scary to upgrade like that. So where Apple could come in with this concept is to make plug-and-play approachability to internal upgrades with a hybrid modular box concept like this. So which of the three concepts is more practical? To me, the all-external, component-style Mac Pro is the most practical as you're essentially just adding and connecting external boxes as you need them. A major benefit to this solution is it's boundaryless, and that it can be any size that's needed. If you need 10 storage boxes or six video cards, there's no shell holding you back. The number of Thunderbolt ports would be the only limitation, and that could be an upgrade onto itself. Compare that to either the Mac Pro Tower or the hybrid mod box, of which both could be impractical to serve those large expansion needs as the box's physical dimensions are a limitation. Which concept would be the most user-friendly? Now this one's a tough call. I'd say it's a match between the external component modular approach and the hybrid container box style. Now, my reasoning for that is 
people are used to plugging in devices and drives to their computers. So if a modular computer offered that level of ease and comfort to add capabilities, that would be the most user-friendly, upgradable computer. Among all three concepts, I'd give the edge to the all external component concept, but just the edge. So there you have it, three concepts of what the modular Mac Pro could be. Hopefully Apple will begin sharing more information on the new Mac Pro as they ramp up production. Of course, everyone in the Mac community will be waiting with bated breath. But I have one little tidbit to leave you with. What if in discovering what this modular Mac Pro could be, Apple realizes it doesn't have to be just about the Mac Pro. It could simply be the modular Mac. With upgrades and boxes ranging from the entry level all the way up to the super fast Pro lineup. That realization could be a game changer.